Q's Blog and Grill. Glenn, you brought a prop today. Well, I have a thought experiment for you. Oh, very good. <clears throat> okay, so here's how it goes. I want you to think about a Viking. Yes. Okay, you have a picture in your mind? Got it. Okay, now I have a little basket of kittens here. They're, they're so small that their eyes aren't even open yet. Wow. Now, um, I have a question for you. Yes. Would, I, I need somebody to look after these kittens for me this afternoon. Would you trust my kittens with your Viking? With my Viking? No. No? No. Well, you know, I have a, I have a 13 year old daughter. I'm, she would be perfectly, yeah, okay, right. perfectly nope. able to look after these kittens. Okay. Does, is your Viking a, a 13 year old girl by any chance? Oh, no, my Viking is not a 13 year old girl. Okay, well, you know, I have, a, I have an elderly mother. I, I, I'm sure she could look after the kittens. Um, was your Viking an elderly woman by any chance? No, no. not even close. No, okay. Um, just on an outside mm -hmm. chance, um, did your Viking have a helmet, something like that? <laughs> Yes. My, my Viking was a manly man, just like you are. <laughs> okay, so what we've just demonstrated here is a principle in cognitive science called the prototype effect. Okay. So Vikings are a category. And in this category, of course, there are 13-year-old girls, there are elderly women, but there is a particular instance of Viking that uh, is presented to your consciousness as, a, as an exemplar. An idealized right. cognitive model. Now, the issue about Vikings is it's a party trick. But if we're thinking from the standpoint of marketing, uh, if we do this with Vikings, mm -hmm. do you think we maybe do it with customers as well? I get you. Yeah. And, and the answer is undoubtedly it's true. Yep. See, there's an issue of probability here. Uh, because you made a probability choice that was hidden from your consciousness, right. um, looking after these kittens with somebody wearing one of these, bad idea. There was nothing that said it was gonna be a fearsome male warrior right. um, in my question, but the sense of probability was there in your mind. Right. So the implication of this is that we need to be deliberate about the construction of meaning around customers. And this is where the personification of customer insight mm -hmm. is a tremendously powerful tool to displace uh, lurking idealized cognitive models and prototypes and substitute in you know, some other vivid representation of the customer that's actually more true to the strategic interests of the organization and to the, to the real data in the field. Wow, that is a great example and, and thanks for taking us uh, through it. I think we learned a lot today about uh, personas and how to be careful about how we characterize uh, prospective customers and clients. AQ's Blog and Grill.